What is going on? What is up? What it is, what it will be. It's your boy from Auburn. You thought it was, but it wasn't, baby. Okay. First of all, just a little short announcements. Uh, Saturday night, uh, probably going to be doing a live stream, Lee Out Loud, one year anniversary. Y'all come check it out. I'm not sure if that's written. That's not written in stone yet, but we'll, we'll somehow let y'all know or whatever. Uh, be sure to check it out. It's going to be good. Um, Today's story time, I'm going to try to make this as funny as I can. Um, actually, today is the year anniversary of when uh, a good buddy of mine passed away. Uh, his name was Brian, but I'm, I called him Termite. His name was Termite because, well, he was short and he didn't take no lip off anybody. He was, he was a scrapper, let's just put it that way. So I got a couple of stories I want to tell y'all about my boy Termite. Um, I met Termite in a, in a town called Davisburg, Georgia. He was working for a, like a, some kind of meal or whatever. And I was working at a meal as well, but we worked right across the street and that's how we got to formally meet each other. We knew about each other, but that's whenever we first started hanging out and we were real good friends for a long time. And I can't tell you like the dates of when this happened or even what year it was because of other reasons. But the first story I'm gonna tell you about Termite is just to let you kinda of, kinda of let you know how he was. He 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 was a very giving, loving person. He had a big heart. I mean just a humongous heart. And it was always a pleasure to be around him. He made me laugh, I made him laugh. But there's one thing my boy did have, and that was a temper. And like, I'm a big boy, and like, if he if it ever come down to where him and I, I would have tried to talk him out of it. Let's just put it that way. And uh, <laughs> um, I used to uh, every day after work, you know, I'd go home, get a shower, or whatever, and go by and see him, pick him up, whatever. Well, um, he had, he had he had married he had gotten married. And, uh, so we didn't really hang out that much, but, you know, I still go by and, you know, say, hey, every now and then. Well, this one particular day, I pulled up, and their car was just beat to a pulp. And there was a concrete block in the windshield of this car. Some people call it a cinder block. We call it a concrete block. But this joker had, like, beat this car and, like, stood on the top of the car and just slammed the concrete block in it and I pulled up and saw it and he stepped outside and I just started laughing at him and he was like yeah it was one of them kind of deals and I don't know why that happened it, it was none of my business or whatever but it happened and uh gosh I miss him so much y'all I really miss him a lot hey I just really miss this guy anyway um so the story, the st that that's my mom's favorite story about him. That every time they talk or whatever, she'd be like, "I got you some concrete blocks," and he'd be like, "You got any windshields for me to put them through <laughs> too?" <laughs> There's a trip, but uh, <laughs> he uh, all right. So this one, I rem I remember I was working at a convenience store at the time. Well, I was I was the manager of one and. Uh, and uh, one one day I know uh, when the beer order come in, there was a a twenty pack of Budweiser that come in in the bottle, and they were on sale. And so I went ahead because I knew I think it was uh, it was right around New Year's or whatever. But whenever it was, I knew there was some college football games going on. It was cold before the playoffs and all that. Whenever they'd have bowl games, and I think it was Mississippi State had a game that real good and they turned out just awesome or whatever but we I knew we was going to go watch some football games over to friend's house and so I got that you know that 20 pack of Budweiser and put them uh in the cooler in the back for me you know for that night so anyway that night rolls around right and I pick him up and uh and we just kept the Budweiser's outside my buddy's house we just got outside and grabbed one because it was cold enough to keep them cold oh man them beers were tasting good that night too let me tell you, they were tasting really good. 
And uh, so we sat there and watched the game and drank all that beers and it was time to go home. It was probably like one in the morning. Now, I used to do some wild and crazy things back in my day and that I'm not proud of. Some I am, some I'm not. A lot that I'm not, but just gonna keep it real with you. Um, when we left my buddy's house, I, I wanted some smoke. You know what I mean? And, uh, and the person who had the smoke, I didn't know him, but I knew that Termite did. And so uh, I was like, hey, we about to roll over there and you gonna go in there and get the smoke. And he was like, I don't know, man, it's kind of late, man. I don't wanna go. I was like, I don't care what time. I was like, we're going. So I pull up in the yard, you know, and he gets out. <clears throat> and this guy, uh, his name's funny too, but I'm not gonna say the name. He, he always had like stuff for sale out in the yard, like a flea market kind of deal. And his, he had this, his road, there was his house and like his parents' house and the cousin's house and other cousins, you know, just family all around him. Well, the termite gets out and goes and knocks on his door, right? And it's like, uh, I'm, I'm watching him and I see him come back and he gets in the car and I'm like, well, well what happened? What'd he say? And he was like, he said he was asleep. And I was like, oh, he's sleepy, is he? I was like, all right. So I back my car up good ways down this guy's driveway, like where his mom's house is, and just laid down on my horn. And I blew the horn all the way out the driveway, all the way onto the main road and down the road some. And I finally let off the horn and I looked at Termite and I was like, well, his ass ain't sleep no more, is he? And Termite just thought that was the funniest thing. And uh, <laughs> that was hilarious. That's, and another memory I got is, uh, you know, we a lot of times, you know, whenever me and Termite would go out and, you know, drink or whatever, we couldn't come come home, you know. So we just stay out all night riding the roads and everything. And I drove for a while, you know, and I was getting ready to take a nap or whatever. I was like, hey, man, you drive. And he was like, all right. So I got over there in the passenger seat and I went to sleep. And when I when I came to, the radio was wide open and I look over at Termite and he's got the steering wheel like this and he's turning up a beer and he stomps on the gas. Like, vroom. And I said, I'm like, I'm all right, all right, I'm awake, I'm awake, pull over, pull over. And we just thought that was the funniest thing. And um, it was actually that, that, that next day when the sun come up, we still had some beers left and they were hot, hot Budweiser. And I was sitting there drinking that hot Budweiser and I was like, gosh, dude, I got a drinking problem. Cause I, you know, whenever you drink a beer and it's hot and it tastes good, you might want to check yourself. So I remember from that day, I went like two years without drinking a drop. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank y'all for getting me all them subscribers. I appreciate it. Dude, I'm 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 honored. I'm humbled. I love y'all. Thanks for showing me love. Uh, it's it's been a blast. I got to get this channel's watch hours up so we can get this thing going like I really want to. I'm just telling little stories now to get the watch hours up. Think got to have like four thousand watch hours and a thousand subscribers within a year. Well, I got the subscribers. Thank to y'all. And I think I'm at almost nine hundred watch hours. So we got a good ways to go. So. Uh, Y'all like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you Saturday night on the Lee Out Loud live stream, one year anniversary. Thank y'all, and have a good night.